Hello, hello, and welcome! My name is Editing Betrayal, and I am here from the future to explain that what you are about to see is part one of Factorio There Is No Spoon. This game was recorded in one sitting with a couple of breaks, and instead of just cutting out the boring parts, I've just sped them up so you can keep track of all of my actions and keep an eye on the modded in clock in the top corner. This game was recorded with a tutorial like nature in mind, so I do try my best to talk through what I'm doing as I go. And this first episode deals with the very early game, with burner mining drills and such up to the beginning of a primitive main bus. Anyway, I will hand it back over to Minnie, and I will say enjoy! Hello, hello, and welcome! My name is Minnie Betrayal, and this is Factorio. Today we are going to do... Well, I'm not, I'm not going to call it a speed run, because I'm not the fastest player by any means and there's plenty of proper speed runs out there um, this is going to be kind of a, a walkthrough I'll explain bits as well so I'll probably put it in my tutorial series uh, of the no spoon or there is no spoon achievement which is to complete the game in eight hours um, my current record is six hours and six minutes um, maybe I'll be able to get a sub six hour um, play. I guess we'll find out. I don't know how many episodes this is going to be. Uh, I guess it depends how I end up editing it. Uh, anyway, let's go. Um, oh, a couple of things to mention. Uh, because I already have the achievement, instead of um, pinning the achievement up here so you can see the time, I have installed a mod which is just a little clock. Other than that, it's all vanilla. I will be using uh, blueprints I have already constructed. I will paste a link to the blueprint book in the description. Um, also, if if you're new to Factorio, I wouldn't necessarily use this as a sort of how to play tutorial. I'll be doing a lot of things reasonably quickly near the beginning. Um, okay, so let's go. Uh, so new game. Um, Let's see, I want to go for reasonably rich resources. Um, no, let's, let's keep that. We don't need any uranium. I'm going to put everything to, very, uh, to big and very good apart from uranium ore. Terrain settings, I'm going to give myself a nice big starting area. Water only in the middle. I'm going to turn off all the... Well, I'm going to turn off dirt, sand and desert because they don't absorb as much. In fact, you know what, let's just keep them medium. For the no spoon achievement, you do need to have biters on um, as default, but I believe, so I'm going to turn off cliffs because I hate them, however, I am going to turn off pollution, which um, certainly in point 0.16, this is in point 0.16, um, you don't need pollution turned on to get the achievement. So anyway, now comes um, finding a good map to play on. So what we want is an area with coal, iron and copper in reasonably large amounts n near each other. Um, we want some amount of stone. It doesn't really matter how much stone, um, but we want to be able to at least a few miners on it because we need stone for furnaces and stone bricks to make um, electric furnaces and oil refineries, that's it. Um, and we also want oil relatively near the centre. Um, yeah, because we don't want to go out too far before we can find any oil. Okay, so this might take a while to find a decent map to start on, so bear with me.
Okay, so I'm going to give this one a go. Now, it's it's not perfect, but what we have up here, we've got a nice big copper supply, a nice big iron supply. Uh, there's a little bit of coal up here which we can use to get started. There is a larger amount of coal over here that's not too far away um, that we can use when we actually get proper coal uh, mining set up. And another bit down there we can use if we need to. Um, there is some oil down here that we can use so I'm going to sort of build my main factory sort of here and go south. I will be using a main bus system and then uh, the main difficulty with oh there's stone over there as well and there's a smaller amount up there nearer the copper to get started. I don't think that is stone. Um, also there's not too many trees which is good um, but there are trees around so we will have access to wood. Um, what was I saying? Oh yes, um, yeah the coal isn't amazingly close to the water supply for power production but um, there's at least a little bit of opportunity here for some challenge so we'll give it a go. I So map preview seed up there, um, I'll stick that in the description as well if I remember. Let's go! Okay, so first things first, as soon as the map loads, we want to make ourselves an axe. And oh, they're just decorations, I thought they were rocks, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's uh, get ourselves a little bit of wood. And are any of these actual rocks? No, that's a tree. Want to make our way a little bit further up here towards where the coal is. I am somewhat disappointed that there are no rocks around. Oh well, let's get started. Um, so we've got a miner there. Let's start getting some iron ore going. Let's... Are these rocks? That's a rock. That's a rock. Okay, because we need some stone to get started on making furnaces. Rocks are, they're annoying once you get to late game. Um, well, mid game. Once you get to late game, usually you've got uh, bots to deal with. But we won't be making bots in this playthrough. Um, but certainly in the early game, rocks are the most efficient way to get a decent amount of stone. Uh, there's another couple there as well. Okay, so we'll turn all of those into stone furnaces. Let's run back over this way. Oh, there's a couple of spots of water around. I hope they don't get in the way. And I'm hoping by the time we get over here we'll have enough to make two burner mining drills. So if we head up to where the coal is, I'm going to have to put it on this up here. Uh, we can do the usual. Oh, I'm going to need something to prime it with. There we go. Now let me just grab my phone and put it on silent because I am a professional. There we go. And that will start getting us uh, an amount of coal that we can use to fuel things as we go. Let's grab some more wood. Okay, any more rocks around? There's the stone, it's not too far away, that's that's good. Okay, let's grab that, make a couple more of them, stick that in there. Okay, and yeah, let's just put these straight down I reckon. Okay, we're gonna need some extra fuel. Uh, in the meantime, um, I have actually nothing useful to craft. Never mind. What I will do, um, I'll turn that all into wood, wood rather than raw wood. Save me a little bit of time later on. Ideally, you always want to be crafting something. Okay, uh, can we get another? Yeah, another burner miner. Stick this one on some copper up here. And I've got nothing really useful to fuel it with. OK, 
a um, I've only just been up there let's grab some of that make a science pack we want to make 10 science packs in total well to start at least we want to make considerably more than 10 in total make another couple of them another couple of science packs come up here grab some coal and switch that around so now we have twice as much coal production another couple of them let's see uh, we'll also make an offshore pump while we're here okay fuel that uh, oh, uh, make another one of them and another one of them and another one of them and another one of them always want to be doing something and another minor drill I also want to make a wooden box okay turn the rest into that get another I uh, probably don't want that many just yet come back down to iron so yes early game lots of running back and forward I'm gonna head up to the little stone patch up here um, plop down a miner just leading straight into a box ordinarily I'd do this a little bit later but this particular map doesn't have a great deal of rocks around so we just need to get something going with iron sorry something going with stone fairly quickly uh, I'm thinking it might be a, that coal up there might be a little bit closer actually um, oh don't have enough for that let's craft one just get a second source of copper coming in go up grab some more coal again come down starting to need to refuel things over here meanwhile let's make a steam engine and a boiler and a couple of small electric poles there we go uh, another couple of science packs and a lab I want to make an underground pipe as well. Let's do that first. There we go. So now if I put this there, we'll have an underground pipe. Strictly speaking, you don't need the pipe, but I find it a bit useful to have a little bit of a gap between um, I can't put that there. Well, I can put that there. I'm going to put it there. There. and that stick my science packs in there stick that in there and I need another one there okay automation go a little bit late I normally like to get that bit set up sort of around the six or seven minute mark but in the grand scheme of things we're doing okay always be crafting something if you can yeah, even if it's just like gears or circuits or even just copper cable because you're always going to use it also going to um, actually just make more of more science packs yeah so we've got five miners on the iron two on the copper at the moment Let's go and see how st stone is doing. And once we pick up the stone, we're going to turn it all into more furnaces. Oh, okay, a little bit of a break there because um, I've been plied with tea. Um, but yes, okay, where were we? Excellent question. Right, automation is about done. Uh, let's, oh, there you go. Uh, okay, I'm going to do logistics first. Um, okay, we've got some fuel for that. Okay, then how much fuel have we got in the steam engine? 28, that's fine for now. Okay, now if I come to the blueprints library, 
I have a book here called Spoon, which contains blueprints for a spoon run. This is what I will be using, and I'm going to put it there. Okay, so this one is uh, just a smelting array with four lines for copper, four lines for iron, one line for stone to stone bricks, and two lines for steel, which then, well, two lines for iron ore into steel, which then get merged into one line of steel. Okay, and somewhere down here we've got the oil. I thought it was a bit closer than that. Hmm. Right, um, oh, let's go and drop off our science in the science machine. Okay, and um, let's see, I'm going to craft a couple of assembly machines. If I put one there, one there, I think that will work. And I need another one of them, and another one of them, and a box. Okay then I can do something like this. Okay, if I tell him to make gears and him to make belts, and I need a whole bunch of these guys. This way I don't have to worry about crafting belts, it'll all be done for me. Belts. Too far away. Belts. Okay, and how much stone have we got piled up there? 71, and he's got 34 coal in it, that's enough for now. Okay, uh, let's start making some electric drills. Gonna need a bunch of inserters. So if I just do that and take out the ones. Yeah, so that's a little trick you can do. Let me just show you that again. So it says here I can build 34. If I shift click, it will build all of them. And then if I shift click here, it will only build the ones I can build directly without um, building the intermediate products first, which is useful. Okay, let's bring uh, some power along this way. Okay, and we'll stick down some mining drills. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, logistics is finished. Next, we want to do electronics. And he is just going to go straight along there and down to there. So this is going to be my first iron column, iron smelting column that is, and I'll grab some power for this side as well. Okay, now obviously we need to build them. Um, okay, need more stone. So I so each column has forty eight furnaces involved in it. Uh, okay, need to build some more of them as well. Uh, okay, go and collect some iron and some coal. Okay, let's refuel you and collect all of that, turn it all into furnaces. Make some more arms. Okay, so let's start by putting half of this in. So that's just 12 on each side. And we'll put the power poles in. And let's make a couple of splitters and an underground belt and start putting these in. Let's go and drop off the science we've got and see. We'll make some more science as well. Uh, and we'll keep making arms or inserters. Right, now I think it was, I'm just trying to remember from the preview map, there was reasonably large coal patch off to the east here. This is that, that east, north, east, yes, north, east, south, west. Let's go see if we can find it. 
Okay, I thought it was a little further north, but not to worry. Okay, so if I do something like one, two, three, four, five, six, then we can bring the coal, whoops, for the furnace array from here. Okay, little pro tip by the way, um, it takes 13 of these electric mining drills to compress one side of a yellow belt. So as I build mining columns, they might sort of take weird shapes sometimes, but you will see that they all, I have no iron, damn it, um, you'll see that they all have 13 per side, if I'm doing it right anyway. Let's at least get some of these arms and belts in over here. Okay, so we've got a splitter there, splitter there, underground belt there. And then this is going to come from that coal supply we have. There we go. Okay. Now that should get us some actual iron smelting properly. Okay. Uh, what else do we want? Uh, one, two, three, and another one of them. I want to get some copper in here as well. So I want to put you there. And that will come down into this one, which is my first copper column. And let's see, we need a bunch of arms. What am I short on? Iron. Okay, I can't pick iron up from there yet because there's no fuel yet. So let's pick up iron from up here. Uh, a bunch of arms, some more science, some more drills. Where am I going? Over here. This is where copper lives. So, where should I put these? There. One, two, on that side. Stick some power down. There. One, oh. Two. More belts required, naturally. Oh, coal is on its way. Oh, speaking of coal, it looks like I've run out of power. So more running backwards and backwards and forwards. Okay, we are now, however, starting to craft iron here, which is a good thing. All right, let's run some power up this way. So we start at least building a stockpile of copper. Three steam engines and another boiler. That will quadruple our power. Let's start building this as well. Okay, now I just need to get the copper there. So continuing with crafting arms, so we can get some real copper smelting going on. Okay, all right, let's go and drop off this science we've got. Okay, I'm also going to craft, ooh, electronics is done, we'll move on to automation two. Uh, yes, also going to start crafting a couple more assembly machines. Oh, we're running. Okay, we're running out of power over here. Forgot about that. 
Um, right, where's the nearest coal? Just give me all of the belts, please. Okay, these two I'm going to just put there with a belt coming like that. This is going to come from the coal deposit. If you look at the mini map, it's sort of above and to the west a little bit of that copper deposit there. Well, that's where I'm making my way to. There we go. So eventually, we now have self-fueling power station. Insofar as the power provides the power, sorry, the station provides the power to mine the coal to fuel the station. Okay, I need iron. I'll grab some copper as well. And now let's go start the bus. Oh, power's gone again. Oops. Alright, let's stick these in, then go fix the power. No, in fact, let's... Yeah. Orders. Which way shall I do things? Let's go do power first. So, it looks like the self-fueling power station didn't quite get to the end quickly enough. That's annoying. Okay, so now we do have at least some copper and iron on the bus. Which is hello, hello, editing betrayal back here from the future once more. I hope you enjoyed the episode. Next time we will start work on the main bus and allow the base to really start taking shape. In the meantime, I will say thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again soon.